Even the staunchest Republicans are about to have their spirits lifted. A new queen has been announced Olivia Colman. The actress, aged 43, will play Elizabeth II in the third series of Netflix The Crown, taking over from Claire Foy, 33, who won a Golden Globe for her portrayal of the younger queen in seasons 1 and 2. Matt Smith will also be abdicating in favor of a new Prince Philip. We'll have to wait until 2019 to witness the new reign but Coleman has regal form, she's playing Queen Anne in a biopic about the 18th century monarch alongside Emma Stone, out next year. She's also queen of our hearts, here is why. She's a proud South Londoner, living in Peckham with her husband, writer Ed Sinclair, and their three children. She sticks up for her patch, saying it's the friendliest neighborhood she's ever lived in. People who think Peckham is dangerous or stupid, she doesn't try to play it cool. When she was on the Graham Norton show with Lena Dunham and Idris Elba, she made no effort to hide how excited she was to meet them. We get it, starstruck Olivia Colman on the Graham Norton show So TV we want to be in her crew. Meryl Streep called her divinely gifted after they were in the Iron Lady together, and Phoebe Waller-Bridge would walk over hot coals to see anything she does, she has range. Her performance as a consummately bitchy stepmother in Fleabag struck a chord everywhere, and in The Night Manager she played a steely professional, unafraid to take on the world's most evil man, The Crown Season 2 Netflix she's stealthily subversive. Not only did Coleman convince the night manager's producers that they should let her be a character who is a man in John Le Carre's book, Changing Intelligence Officer Leonard Burr to Angela, but she persuaded them to let her play Burr pregnant because she was expecting her third child. Coleman sums it up with typical easy logic there's no reason why a spook should anti get knocked up, so they've embraced it, which is lovely. It's nice to show that pregnant women are people too, then there's Coleman's cry face, as seen in Tyrannosaur, where she played an abused wife, and Broadchurch, where she proved she was so much more than a comic actress. She and David Tennant were a faultless double act, with her nervously trying to gauge his moods while she subsisted on a terrible diet of Kit Kats, chips and scotch eggs, and him yelling her name, Miller RRRR so much it became his catchphrase. We're on Team Tennant for the new Prince Philip, award-winning Olivia Colman with her BAFTA award she's honest. She's had Botox, she loved it, her husband found it hilarious, she wouldn't have plastic surgery and says if anyone told me I was too fat for a role, I'd have them and has spoken about her postnatal depression and mental health. I was a fairly jolly teenager, but I struggled with body confidence. I had black clouds and still do. It would be nice to tell my younger self yeah will be okay. This will pass. And you will be loved. Don't make any rash decisions, she's modest. Her award acceptance speeches are a master class in deflecting praise and making jokes at her own expense. After winning a BAFTA for Broadchurch she whispered to her husband that she wanted to go home for a cup of tea. I couldn't take it all in, she said. Matt Smith and Claire Foy attend the world premiere of new Netflix original series The Crown at Odeon Leicester Square Vanessa Kirby, who plays Princess Margaret, dazzles in a mint gown Matt Smith strikes a pose for photographers Matt Smith, Dame Eileen Atkins, Claire Foy, Peter Morgan and Stephen Daldry pose with the Queen's favorite breed of dog a corgi Matt Smith and Claire Foy play Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth II in the big budget drama Claire Foy works a pattern dress for the red carpet bash Vanessa Kirby knows how to work the red carpet the cast are guarded by two soldiers on the red carpet Matt Smith points to the cameras as he poses alongside his co-star Claire Foy Gemma and puts on an elegant display Gillian Anderson color coordinates with a velvet red dress day Mylene Atkins plays the Queen's mother in the hotly anticipated Netflix series The Crown returns to Netflix on December 8th.